Hello VC, it's Andrea and I'm here with a quick vinyl update. Uh, well, Jennifer's actually asleep, yay. So she won't be asleep for long because she's gonna wake up wanting some food. So I thought I would get in and do a quick vinyl update. There will be another one soon, but we do this one now. First of all, we have a 12 inch signal and that is 12 inch of Georgia Moroda and Philip Oakley's Together in Electric Dreams. I've always loved this song, ever since the 1980s. And it's, this is one of those 12 inches where I actually think the 12 inch is better than the 7 inch. And there are only three at the moment I can think of. This one, Huey Lewis and the News, The Power of Love, and Pet Shop Boys, always on my mind. 12 inches, I actually prefer to the 7 inches on those. Stay with the 80s, I got two Debbie Gibson LPs. I got uh, Electric Youth. And Out of the Blue. I love Out of the Blue. I remember buying a couple of singles off it when I was a kid because I couldn't afford the LP. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Um, I've got another Shirley Bassey LP. Um, this one is And I Love You So. And this was actually a pound in the charity shop. But I put it on the turntable and played it. And it's sounded as if it had never, ever been played. It was absolutely perfect. There wasn't a crackle, there wasn't a pop, nothing. I did obviously clean it before I played it. It, it really it sounded like the person who owned this before had never put it on the turntable. So I was really happy with that. And there's some nice songs on there, including um, The First Time Ever I Saw Your Face, uh, Day by Day, I Don't Know How to Love Him. Some really, really lovely songs there. Just pop that down a bit back. Um, I picked up a Music for Pleasure copy of Procol Harum's A Salty Dog because I wanted to see if I liked it. And this is a very battered copy. The vinyl's fine. It plays perfectly, if I can get it out. So, I mean, it's Music for Pleasure red label. I mean, it plays perfectly fine. There's no problems with it. Um, the cover's just not in brilliant condition. It's quite ropey. But I mean, it was a cheap purchase from eBay just to see if I really liked the whole album. I had listened to part of it on YouTube and I did like what I heard, but I thought I'll actually get it and put it on the turntable to see if I really like it. And to be fair, I really loved it. So at some point I'll upgrade to one of the reissues, the repress, and I will get the other Procol Harum album, the one with white shades of pale on it. I love that song. Now the next album was a recommendation from Steve from Psych in the Valleys. He saw this album during my charity, hall, charity shop vlog. Um, when I went and stopped at a record shop at the end, which is in the market called Criminal Records, he saw it as I flipped through and he said, you must go back and get this record. It's absolutely brilliant. And it is Spirit, The 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus. So it's a bit ropey. It was only a few quid. It's for me to try it out. Obviously it's a gatefold, a single album. The LP plays fine. It is a bit crackly, but there's no scratches on it. It doesn't jump. And I actually really enjoyed it. And he, he described it as 70s West Coast Psych. And it, it really is, it's really cool. I, you know, I, I took it to the guy with the, at the record shop and he said that, and Elvis, because I bought an Elvis record. And he said, it's a bit different. So I said, well, that was recommended, so I'll give it a try. <laughs> and the Elvis one I picked up was one of those Dom Discs pressings. This one is As Long As I Have You. I do like the pictures they're using on this. Now I have put the record behind on these because I find that these records are, they're very heavy. They must be at least 180 gram. And it's very hard to get them back in the sleeve for some reason. So I can't even tell you what's on it because I can't see. So I'm gonna take the cover out. I do like these pictures. This is the third one of these I've got. So this one has, as long as I have you, it feels so right, young dreams, the girl next door went a walk in, playing for keeps, got a lot of living to do, King Creole, fame and fortune, shopping around, my wish came true like a baby and it's no secret. So I do believe that there were 12 of these in the series. And I have now got three. So only nine to go. I just pick one up if I'm at Criminal Records, you know. I have a look, flip through their bargain box, see what's in there and pick up one of these. Next one is, and the last one in this uh, vinyl pickups is Band on the Run by Paul McCartney and Wings. We have this on CD. 
but I wanted on vinyl. As you can see, there is some ring wear. It's not in brilliant condition, but it's only a couple of quid. Play is fine, no problems with the playing, and it does come with the original poster as well, so we will probably get the poster framed, because at some point I'll probably get the reissue of Band on the Run. Um, and we'll put that uh, over in our listening zone when we get it uh, um, decorated and done. So those are all the ones that I've got so far to show you. I probably will be getting some more shortly. So this is everything up to the end of May, uh, beginning of June. It's my birthday at the end of June. I'm hoping some for some records from my mum and my brother and possibly from Paul, you never know. Um, there will be another episode of a stack of 45s possibly even two and I will be taking you uh, record shopping with me when I'm on holiday at the end of the month. Yay, only three weeks to go. So that's all really at the moment, that's what I've picked up um, 12 inch wise. So very very quick vinyl update, I, I could pull all the records out to show you but you know what that takes forever and you know they're not colour, they're not coloured vinyl so they're all much of a muchness. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying getting back into uh, this record collecting lark. Paul's loving it too because anything to do with music he loves. So, well, he is a big CD fan. He does love his CDs, and I don't have a problem with them. He does love them. Um, we do have a lot of CDs. I was wondering if you wanted to see our CD collection. It would take a very long time to film, and I'd have to do it in sections because I have over 100 CD singles. I think I have a lot of CD singles let alone A to Z and then compilations, so. And that's not artist compilations, those are various artist compilations. We keep them separate because we've got so many of them. If that's something you're interested, I know we're mostly vinyl, but the vinyl community, but we do do CDs. Um, let me know, we did pick up some CDs and I forgot to show you them, but I will go and get them and I'll show you them anyway. So I'll show you the CDs I've got. Obviously if I show you my our entire CD collection, you'll see them all again, but. Uh, so the first one we got is The Beatles Love. Um, Paul originally didn't want this one when it first came out, but he was looking for CDs and he saw this and he thought, what is that? You know, let's have a look, let's get it. So we picked it up, we played it the other day and we both really enjoyed it. It's just a bit of fun. You know, some of the mixes together, some of the different takes. It's a really, really nice little Beatles album. Will we be getting it on vinyl? That's the question. Um, he also got a Kinks album which is, um, Kinks are the Village Preservation Society. I haven't heard this one yet, but Paul played it the other day and he really enjoyed it. But, um, I was having a sleep because it was shattered. But uh, there's that one. And another one which we haven't played yet is one that I wanted. And um, one of the things you will learn about me is my one of my favorite bands is a band, an Irish band called The Saw Doctors. They were formed in the 1990s, late 80s, early 90s. Um, and this one is one of the CDs I don't have, and it's Saw Doctor's Friends Demo and B-Sides. So while it's not a proper album, it's something they released. So on it they've got We're the Pop Suckers by the Pop Suckers, Joe Wall Broke My Heart, which is the Saw Doctor's, Tower of Love, which is Anthony Thistle's Way. Of course, he was in the Water Boys, and now he plays in the, the, the Saw Doctors. All I Ever Wanted, Saw Doctor's, Tune Beat, uh, P. Stevens, which is Pedro Stevens. Christmas, t Christmas Station Border, The Saw Doctors. I'm sure that must be Presentation Borders, but with a Christmas theme. Everybody Dreams, Paul Cuniff. At Least Pretend, The Saw Doctors, Dear Mary. Dream Girl, Trip to the Tip. Trip to Tip and How You Julia, all by The Saw Doctors. This is one I don't have. There's only one other album CD that I don't have that's quite rare, and that is Play It Again, Sham, and I really want that one. But the only copy I've seen lately is like 22 quid for a CD on eBay. So, but this is only like three quid, so. So that's another one for my Saw Doctors collection. So if you wanna know what the Saw Doctors sound like, just go and uh, type, look them up on YouTube. Look for something like, I used to love her, um, Claire Island, N17, Hey Rap, and so on. Those are the famous ones, and uh, that's, that's the Saw Doctors. So those are the new items added to our vinyl and CD collection. Obviously I'll be doing another video soon so I hope to see you all soon VC. You take care. Bye!